Tim Norris, owner of Ag Infotech, an agronomy and technology consulting company in Gambier, Ohio, has been working to bring RTK-level GPS guidance service to his grower customers. An RTK network he helped to bring online got him started, but the terrain challenges have made the tower network concept impractical for many of his customers. Ohio's Cores network and hardware offerings from Trimble and Intuicom make bringing this capability a reality for Norris. In part two of our RTK in Ohio series, Norris explains why Cores is an important part of his RTK expansion plan. But unfortunately, only about a third of my area is covered under an RTK network, a traditional network. Um, <clears throat> when you get east of uh, 71, um, we start to get pretty hilly. Um, you get uh, on over into Knox County and Coshocton County, it gets very hilly. Um, some of the challenges with setting up an RTK network in Knox, Licking, Coshocton counties, um, Skingham counties, is we're, we're at such a severe terrain change that uh, there's no way we could have a traditional RTK network unless we had, you know, 10 repeaters off of one base station, and it's just cost prohibitive. So, unfortunately, the only solution for growers in those areas was to have a portable base. But now with... Uh, the uh, cellular modems that we have available from uh, Trimble, and there's uh, one from Intuacom as well, we now have the ability to get our RTK corrections over the CORS um, VRS website in Ohio. And that's going to open up my whole territory to RTK, and we're very excited about that. Um, <clears throat> what we're doing there is we're taking advantage of those networks that the cellular companies already have in place. Um, you know, they, they're using four or five hundred foot tall towers and uh, they're basically providing a service to the masses and they can afford to build a better infrastructure than what we could for, you know, a few growers. So um, we're kind of taking advantage of the uh, network they have in place and we're subscribing to their service um, and as well as subscribing to the service that uh, ODOT has through their VRS network, their CORS VRS network. So. Um, an exciting thing for agriculture, we can kind of take advantage of two existing uh, infrastructures that are already there and put it to use in ag. So we're very excited to have the ability to do that. In part three of this series, we'll go inside the cab with Norris for a demonstration of the core setup. For PrecisionAg.com, this is Paul Schrempf.